We talk about keeping it real, keeping it practical, keeping it into a position that right in the middle of a pandemic, you're in it, I'm in it, we're all in it. And God is not caught off guard. God is not surprised. Right. And when we catch up That's with what it. the Lord is revealing, this is an opportunity to go to another level and take care of some business. Yeah. So right in the midst of this, and I often say keep it 100, 100% of us, I'm going to put up my 100 right here, 100% of us going to have pain. 100% yeah. of us right now mm -hmm. are living in this pandemic. 100% of us will get stressed. 100% of us will get hurt. 100% of us will get angry. 100% of us breathing right now had a history. Mm -hmm. And when we think about the history that we have been exposed to, as I was driving to this great church, I was on 12th Street. And as I was going across 12th Street, I drove right past T.B. Watkins Housing Project. Mm -hmm. I was born in T.B. Watkins Housing, 1321 Vine to be exact. Mm -hmm. In my history, as I'm driving by, I get a little emotional thinking about how far the Lord has brought me. Mm -hmm. Maybe you're listening right now and think in terms of this. How far has God brought you? Yeah, how far yeah. has he brought you since March? How far has he brought you since you were a little girl or a little boy? How far has he brought you when you were screaming for help? How far has he brought you when no one heard your screams? How far has he brought you when you think about your past? And think about our past for a minute. Mm -hmm. Because my past was a challenge, obscure, anonymous. The present is hectic, squeezing me, the drama gets. Pressed in my future, it doesn't look good, dark clouds, ominous. I'm in this predicament by myself, I hear the ticking of the bombing Life is unstable, several unbreakable bonds that split. Many living lives, a bunch of broken promises. I will never quit this race, I regroup, pray, pause. Out of comma, and this is how I cope. I broke a pen in my palm, and this praising poor produces power pieces for my soul, just like a llama spits. I finally come to this conclusion, intricately woven right. Me and my destiny, I'm in this for life. Life is a marathon. Life is a marathon. And when we're in the middle of tough times and we reflect on the history and we look how far God has brought us from. In, in, the, in the book of Luke, in chapter 17, it talked about a bunch of people who had leprosy. When you talk about social distancing. So Jesus was rolling up and there were 10 people that, that were lepers and they were kind of like across the way. And then they asked the Lord to heal them. Think about this for a minute when we talk about our history. When God healed them. When Jesus Christ healed them, he said, go and show yourself to the priest. Mm -hmm. So as they were going, as they were going of active, in act of obedience, as they were going and obeying the Lord, they got healed. Now here's the thing about our history sometimes. Right in the middle of a pandemic, right in the middle going back in time in the history of, of the word of God, when those 10 got healed, only one of them came back. Mm -hmm. One person came back and said, Thank you. Think about it. Right in the middle of this year, right in the middle of struggles, right in the middle of people losing their jobs, their lives, and a lot of pain, right in the middle of it, have we paused for the cause and said, thank God I'm still here. Thank God that there are some things going on in my life I don't understand. Right in my history, thank God that I'm still here. We are in the middle of a lot, a lot of hurt. Think about it. When hurting people hurt people. They usually hurt people closest to them. Mm -hmm. We are on a, a record pace for homicides, mm -hmm. and, and many times homicides get overlooked. I mean, non-fatal shootings get overlooked. In 2013, I started a company called the VIP Movement. One of the greatest underlying reasons for violence is mismanaged hurt and pain. Mm -hmm. When I said earlier, 100% of us will get hurt, think about this. 100% of us will get hurt. And if I don't manage my pain and my hurt in a healthy way, what I typically do is hurt myself and hurt somebody else. Yeah. When we right. think about the right. hurt that is inside of us right now, and it usually hits close to home. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna just let this yeah. linger for a minute. Yeah. There's a reason why mental health professionals often ask, how, how was your childhood? <laughs> Translation, what was going on in the house when you were a little girl or a yeah. little boy? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Think about that for a second. Mm -hmm. if, if I'm a young, very young person, I couldn't hold my head up. 
Somebody literally had to hold my head up when I was a baby. Just like you and I, we got that in common. Mm -hmm. Somebody literally had to hold our head up until we could develop the muscles to be able in our neck to hold our own head up. Mm -hmm. Literally figured it, let me drop this right quick wordplay. Somebody held my head until I could hold my head on my own. 50,000 thoughts per day the average person has. Out of those 50,000 thoughts, 80% are negative. Out of those 80% mm -hmm. that are negative, 95% are the exact same thoughts as the same day before. Mm -hmm. We make about 35,000 decisions per day. And oftentimes, in the middle of our hurt, we will make a decision that will cost us presently and in the future to come. Can you imagine somebody over and over again reliving what happened in their home? They didn't get it out their system. They start having kids. The next thing you know, they, they're, they're taking out the, the mismanaged hurt in their home on the kids in their house. Mm -hmm. We put on a lot of masks today. Mm -hmm. Think about it. F figuratively and literally, it's a, it's, a, it's a mask going on. And at the core, somebody says, I'm hurting, flirting with disaster. Master, can you see me hitting behind this mask? I gotta ask, can you see me? Mm -hmm. Regretting my past, putting my business on blast until I blow up more opportunity. Shh, just between you and me, I'm hurting. And I'm tired yeah. of taking my pain out on other people. Secrets will keep me bound, enslaved, right. stuck in stain, so I remain hurt. Hitting behind a different mask, daily hurt. Waiting for this costume party to end, maybe. Mm. Just maybe. Today is my unveiling. There's no telling what you'll see when I rip off this mask. Now trending me. Now living free. Now living free. Let's free ourselves of some of the things that took place in our homes that caused us to have that distrust of people, that caused us to have that abandonment type of mentality, that caused us to have that rejection going on, that caused us to keep people at arm's length. Because when I was hurt, when I was a little boy, I told myself I'll never let anybody get close to me. And God said, here I am coming in the home of your heart, and I want to heal you of what's been going on for years. I pray that God will free somebody today of the pain, that he will open up your eyes and give you revelation insight, open up your real eyes so that you can realize that that hurt is no longer keep you chained and bound. Can't you see I'm screaming? I'm steaming from a broken dream and I need help without saying words. Help. That one you must have heard. Help that I kept in the inner me. I doubt that I can be a winner so I settle for a sinner. See, pay attention. I intentionally do risky things to bring your life on me. So look, look beyond my drama, my persona, my deadbeat daddy and my Busy mama, so look, look beyond my clothes, my pierced nose, my toes that are covered with expensive dough. I laugh for show, but when you go, the tears just flow. Look closely, yeah. mostly at my actions. I'm asking you to help me rip off this mask yeah. and hate. Take yeah. me by the hand. Teach me how to be a godly man or a godly lady. Maybe I'll resist, but don't you ever give up on me because I need this. Help. Right in the middle of a home that was overflowing, that we're screaming for help. We have haters right now, public haters, private haters, professional haters, personal haters. We have haters right in the middle of the pandemic. They didn't take a break because it's COVID, COVID-19. You got haters coming out the woodwork, and God says, don't cater to your haters. Let your haters put you in a position to rise beyond, above their hate. Sometimes we got to look at the hater that's inside of us. Think about it. Sometimes we're the greatest hater on the planet. We telling ourselves, you ain't going to make it. You ain't nothing. You ain't going to never amount right. to nothing. You're going right. to end up like this or that and God says let me change that mindset change question it. how many negative thoughts infiltrate our minds daily how many times do these thoughts be like crying babies and sometimes we got to put these thoughts to sleep mm -hmm. lullabies do I believe thoughts that cause me to rise or do I believe thoughts that cause me to lie mm -hmm. one of the greatest lies we tell ourselves is the hater inside of us mm -hmm. If I can handle my internal hater, I can handle my external hater. Mm -hmm. I got to put myself in Romans 12 when it says renew my mind daily. Man. I got to start renewing my mind daily. I got to start speaking life into my life. Mm -hmm. I got to start confronting myself and say, you know what? God called me out of this. I'm not going to hate myself. I'm not going to be hurt anymore. I'm going to be in a position when I scream from help, I'm going to go to the Lord and Jesus. And I'm going to say <laughs> Jesus. And I'm going to scream it out, Jesus. Uh -huh. And he's going to continue you to help me and then I'm going to run after my destiny. So here's the critical question. How do I do it? Each step I take across this stage of today is my commencement. 
the turning of a new page, a new chapter. I'm running after purpose and I know when it has been captured. Let me repeat it. Each step I take across to this stage of today is my commencement. Mm -hmm. The turning of a new page, a new chapter. Mm -hmm. I'm running after my purpose and I will know when it has been captured. Mm -hmm. Step by step, one step at a time. Some of you are listening right now and you're saved and you're probably just in a position of not walking in the grace that you should be. And I just say, just go back to God and say, renew me. Renew, renew me. me. Renew Help me to go to the next level. Yeah. Some of us maybe never have met Jesus Christ. Step one, accept the Lord Jesus Christ as your Savior and say, here I am, a sinner. I'm going to turn from my wicked ways and I need some help. I don't know what to do. When it talks about in the book of Psalm, a light into my feet, a light into my yeah. path, it's talking about each step I take, that light is going to illuminate. Yeah. Yeah. So as I walk across this stage of today, I don't know what tomorrow holds, but I know step one is this. I'm going to trust the Lord. I have to put myself in a position. How do I do it? I connect with other people. I connect with some people that have been trying to get me to go to the next level. I don't know all the answers right now, but somebody has been through what I'm about to go through, and I need to start connecting with them and say, God, show me somebody in my circle. Show me somebody in my realm that I can reach out to and say, how do I get out of this rut? We have to start putting ourselves in a position because, spoiler alert, some of you are going to go to another level. <laughs> Spoiler alert. I'm going to put it out there right now. How do you do it? Trust in the Lord. Trust. Stay in the Word. Trust. Let praise and worship saturate your environment. Get yourself around some people who honor the Lord. Get in the book. Study more and more. The Word of God will start giving you step by step. You might not know all the answers, but one answer is this. When I get in that word, wisdom, revelation, knowledge, yes. insight, a rain of word will take me to another level. Yes. All of the pain that I went yes. through, yes. all of the hurt yes. that I've yes. been through, yes. all of the times that I told myself I just can't escape. I am smothered with insults by a mother who likes to chase away my faith with routine berates like my own mama might call me dumb, stupid, and ugly. She doesn't even hug me, nothing but mugs. These actions hurt. <laughs> Suffocated with so much damage that manifests into many tears. I feel like dirt. My daddy, my daddy's missing it action I'm falling apart like uh -oh. fractures searching for one whole person who doesn't yell at me doesn't curse and I'm falling apart blamed by so-called friends I got punchline for their jokes and I've tried to make the most of each day but for real y'all I'm not doing okay when we talk about how to do it start acknowledging that you're not doing okay that's right. We are putting on so many masks yeah, beyond yeah. October the 31st. <laughs> we got to come to the position and say, you know what? I'm not doing well. And I need you to help me, to pray with me, to be in the midnight hour, calling on the Lord, yeah. interceding, standing in a God, doing what you can do. How do you do it? Start telling the truth. We have been lying to ourselves over and over again. There are people who are depressed suicidal, yeah. down and out, yeah. negative, and they telling people, I'm all right, I'm doing well, how do you do it? Speak the truth in love to your heart and ask God to show you some people that you can open up to, and then we'll start walking in our destiny. Each step I take across this stage of today is my commencement. The turning of a new page, a new chapter, I'm running after purpose, and I will know when it has been captured. Bless you all. May the Lord continue to move in your life. It's been great speaking. Actions over words. <laughs> oh, welcome. Thank you. I'm good. Oh, welcome. Oh.